A lot of people believe that there is a cycle to poverty and that once you're part of it, it's hard or even impossible to break free. Usually that's because there's no one willing to take the risk of financial investment in your future. But Fox 8 on your side's consumer reporter Steve Noviello says that's all changing. Changing because people who can are investing their money in strangers. It sounds a little bit chancy, but what if you knew your investment was virtually guaranteed to not only help someone who needed it, but was also designed to help the community in the long run? Still not convinced? Okay. Add market interest rates and federally insured accounts. Suddenly that chance on a stranger isn't so strange. I'd like to start right here. This is our infant room. In our infant room right Bruce now. Bruce Davis says all you need to do is look at the face of a child to know it's best to start at the beginning. Invest the money in the front end and you will wipe out a great deal of the problems that we have in the tail end. There's no, no, no question about it. And guess what? She never goes back to the three bears house again. And just like the story being told to the kids today at his daycare facility in High Point, Bruce's story is also about meeting strangers and knowing who to ask for help. The economy is, has made it pretty tough on us, and I'm sure all daycares are filling the crunch, and uh, all businesses. Yet just down the road, you can hear the crunch of construction on Bruce's brand new and expanded daycare facility. New construction when times are so tight? Good morning, East Market Street. This is Jim. Yep. And the money to do it is made full in part by this man, who Bruce has never met before. There are a lot of different ways of making your money work. Jim Donnelly is an investor with Self-Help Credit Union, a community development lender. It works very much like a traditional financial institution. Except instead of his money sitting in the bank, his numbers are out working. In this case, it's helping to build a new daycare facility. That means more space for a bigger program, new computers for the kids, and less trouble getting money for folks who are traditionally underserved. This is the best return. The best return that you can get for your investment dollars is to see a child grow up in a safe environment and become someone who goes in either into the military, goes into college, become a doctor, a lawyer, a teacher, a volunteer who gives back to the community. I can't think of a better way to spend your money. The idea is to encourage those who can to invest their money in projects that will benefit the entire community in the long run. Anyone can do it. Competitive rates and traditional investing options like CDs, money market, and savings accounts and federal insurance assure those investing that their money is safe. And so their ability to reach out to that group and not just provide financial assistance, but provide the other kinds of help that folks need to be successful is really what drew me to them. For Bruce Davis and other borrowers, it's the key to unlocking a brighter future, not only for him, but for her. <laughs> and much like laughter, bright futures are contagious. Now, there are minimums to invest, but they are reasonable, and again, anybody can do this. On the lending side, self-help credit union loans start at $250 and go in excess of $4 million. The only requirement is that the money is being used to benefit the, the community by building a business or by buying a house. The company is also more forgiving of a troubled credit history and can provide financial services to help those folks get back so on their feet. Wonderful opportunities, FYI. You know, nice to see people giving back a little bit. Oh, All right. Thank you, Steve. You bet.